Just when you thought Sony had done it all with the likes of the Sony Xperia Z and the Sony Xperia Z tablet, which not only changed the smartphone market but also the tablet market. Being the first high-end phone and tablet to be water resistant and plus overall they both had some pretty good specification and design. Now this has shown us that Sony is not just any mobile manufacturer but one who knows what they're doing when it comes to mobiles. Unfortunately for all of Sony's competitors out there, Sony has not yet done dominating the mobile market. Hey what's up guys my name is Corey and this right here, this right here is the Sony Xperia Z1, Sony's latest and greatest high end smartphone review. Okay, so let's start this off with the design. Now when it comes to design, Sony has always seemed to impress me in this area. Even with their low end phones, the Sony Xperia M and their mid range phone, the Sony Xperia SP, the design department is always, always very good. The Sony Xperia Z1 is just another example of what Sony is capable of when it comes to the designing of a phone. The phone looks identical to the Sony Xperia Z in certain areas but what makes it different is the fact that the Z1 has a more premium feel to it with the aluminium going all around the phone which is also holding together the glass on the front and the back. This really brings out the quality feel and look of the phone. The 5 inch HD display also complements the overall design of the phone and as you all know with all Sony phones there are no physical buttons available at the front of the phone. The only buttons you'll find is the capacitive home button, task button and back button which is on the front and the only physical buttons you'll find on the phone just like the Z is on the right hand side of the phone. There is where you'll find the signature Sony power off and on button with the volume rocker next to it and the dedicated camera button at the bottom. Looking around the phone you'll also find the sim card holder on the right hand side which is all sealed up due to the fact that the phone is water resistant. Also on the left hand side is where you'll find the charging port and the micro SD card port which is also all sealed up. And if you're like me and you love listening to your music out loud and playing your videos out loud then at the bottom of the Sony Xperia Z1 is where you find the dual speaker. Now these are the only speakers you're going to find on this phone but I have to say that they're very loud and they're very nice and clear. At the top of the phone is where you find the 3.5mm headphone jack which is surprisingly not sealed up. Not sure how this is going to work when you're underwater or if you're in the bath or shower. Finally at the back is where you find the camera, the 20.7 megapixel camera, the LED flash and the Sony Xperia logo as well. So in terms of the design of this phone guys you can see that the Sony Xperia Z1 is pretty nice and I have to say that the feel of the phone feels very nice when in your hand. Some might say that the phone is too big but you know we're all, we're all getting used to big phones nowadays. And in terms of weight the Sony Xperia Z1 weighs approximately 170 grams when comparing it to the Sony Xperia Z, the original Sony Xperia Z which weighs 146 grams that makes it 24 grams heavier than the Sony Xperia Z. And the Sony Xperia Z1 is just another example of what Sony can do when it comes to designing a very well made phone. So now let's check out the display. So when it comes to the display, the Sony Xperia Z1 has a 5 inch HD display that's 1920 by 1080 p Just like the Sony Xperia Z, it has the same pixel density of 441. The screen itself also features Sony's Triluminous technology which competes with Samsung's Super AMOLED which is known for rich colours and giving us consumers a sharp and crisp display. The Sony Xperia Z1 also features the same scratch resistance and shock resistance glass again just like the original Sony Xperia Z from earlier this year. Both models also have the same Bravia Engine 2 which is the same technology Sony used in their TVs. So when it comes to the display on the Z1, I guess it's safe to say that it's a big improvement coming from the original Sony Xperia Z. When I first had that phone, to me the display was fainted and it didn't look like it was actually full HD. Now with the Sony Xperia Z1, you will 
get that that full HD experience with no problem. In my honest opinion, this is one of the best displays I've come across this year on a 5 inch phone. Now what's the point of having a very nice phone if the phone can't perform well? Well that's not the case of the Sony Xperia Z1, Sony continues with their intention to dominate with a high end Snapdragon 800 processor clocked at 2.2GHz with 2GB of RAM. Now what does this mean for you? This means that you will have a phone that can undertake big tasks with no problem. Performance is another area where Sony has polished up from their original Sony Xperia Z which featured the Qualcomm processor clocked at 1.5GHz. And if you're a gamer and you love games on your smartphone then the Sony Xperia Z1 is the perfect match for you. It's not only featured a high-end processor but it also is sporting a high-end GPU. Not the Adreno 320 but the Adreno 330. This will enable you to play all the high-end games on the Z1 with no lags or stutter. The phone was also put to the test using the Anatutu benchmark and I was blown away by these scores. They was not only respectable but they were the best I've come across on a smartphone. So to wrap this up, the performance on this phone, there's only one word and one word only. Peace. Hardware on the Sony Xperia Z1 comes with all these standard connections, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC and you can also use your device to tether from. The phone is also running Android 4.2.2 straight out the box, it's also running Sony's very very light skin on top as well. With the Z1 being PlayStation certified you can also connect up your PlayStation controller and use it when playing high end games. I'll probably make a video doing like a gaming review for you guys so you'll see me um, demonstrating this of course. And of course the phone is water resistance just like the Sony Xperia Z up to 30mm as well. In terms of storage, the Z1 comes with 16GB of inbuilt storage which you get around 12.5GB available after the pre-installed apps as well. It also has 2GB of RAM available for multitasking, so multitasking or just game playing and stuff like that, the phone will run pretty smooth. In terms of battery, the Sony Xperia Z1 is rocking a 3000 milliamp non-removable battery. This is a big upgrade coming from the original Sony Xperia Z which was rocking a 2330 milliamp battery. And last we have the camera, again another area where Sony is upgraded. The Sony Xperia Z1 uses a wide angle 27mm Sony G lens camera. The camera can also shoot HDR still and video footage. Sony has also promised best in low light performance, this means there is no need for using flash when taking pictures or video footage at night. I will also do a video test for you guys in low light just to show you how well the camera performs when shooting videos and taking pictures at night. But back to the camera, now the camera features a ton of features like the ability to stream videos straight to Facebook. It also features the well known superior auto mode which you can find on a range of Sony smartphones. And for those who don't know what superior auto mode is, it's basically a mode that guess what type of scene you're trying to capture and adjust the settings to that particular scene. But as I said you guys, I'll probably do a separate video just to go through the camera because there's so much um, there is to go through about the camera on the Sony Xperia Z1. The camera is amazing. Video recording of course is full HD on the rear and the 2 megapixel front facing camera. I've also done a video quality test which should now pop up on the screen where you can go and check out the full camera um, video quality test. So there you go you guys, a quick review of the new Sony Xperia Z1, one of the best high end phones that you're going to find out there on the market right now. In terms of the price you guys, this phone should go for around 450 to around 550 pounds. The phone is not actually out yet so we don't know the exact price. but. 
again to sum up this phone there's only one word and that is beast the phone is beast it's very nice design is nice battery size is nice display is nice camera is nice haven't found one fault with this phone yet let me know what you guys think of this phone though are you going to get one if so what's the reason for getting it is it because of the camera is it because of the beast processor let me know anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please ensure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button until the next time i see you probably in the gaming review of this phone peace